Maybe she wants to play again the etude on Yamaha. If she feels more comfortable. No, it's okay? Okay.
façon de trouver impromptu. Ok, darling.
Excellent. I think I took a very good start. Let's take the etude. We have just one hour. And five minutes. So, you have a very good feeling about Chopin. Excellent technique. The etude could be a little bit less mannered. I, I mean, a little bit more simple. Uh, but I understand your sensibility. Also, try to pay attention to the dynamics more. Can you play the beginning again? There is a diminuendo, which you never do it. It's like the water which flows from the spring into the river directly. And it is wrong to wait between the second last note and the last note. If I do this, it's wrong. The phrase should go or but not and some people most pianists play bad taste in some very rare examples, maybe you can do it a little bit. For example, if you have an accent, you know, but usually, written this way 
書いてあるんですけれどもショパンはいろいろ変えてたので自分が弾いてた時に。As you know, when he played the same passage again in the same piece, or when the same, he played the same piece a second or third time, he was always changing. So the editions have some differences. There was the French edition, the German edition, etc., English. And sometimes they found even different things on the On the scores of the students written by the hand of Chopin. Personally, here I prefer. I prefer I don't like them very much. This is about one second every beat, you know. I also phrase the accompaniment. Thank you. 
or I'm just giving you options for you to think about it. Bars are too much mechanical because you do this. We should sing inside our Chopin used to tell his students that each finger is a singer. And he almost disliked all his contemporary living composers except Bellini. 
He did not like Schumann, he did not like Liszt, he did not like Mendelssohn, <laughs> but he loved Bellini, so bel canto. And we should think for the phrasing of balls of string instruments. It's like the ballad number one. If you think only piano, no. If you think, and you allow your hand to do the movement, it's... So here... As long as it, is, as it is convincing, you know, if I am in the jury of a competition, of a concours, if somebody plays a different way but convincing, I vote for, of course. Here we have a very beautiful, a very beautiful phrase from cello or a viola. Personally, I like this phrasing. I don't know if you like it. And by the way, I just noticed Chopin wrote diminuendo. 
But it's not just a sound diminuendo, it's a feeling diminuendo. And remember, if you want to communicate to the audience, and you communicate very well because you feel the emotion very deeply, it's important to remember that the sound being uh, wavelength is also a vehicle, a mean which transports something or somebody else, like a car. And if you feel intensively the, em the musical emotion, and sincerely, this is the sound which goes to the audience, and the emotion will get on it and it will transport it. only for the second one because we came we came from here Ba-bam! Ba-bam! 
finger. If you do, it's not good. It's a 30 second, yeah? Not a 16th. It's not.
personally I prefer this uh, very emotional this, like despair. Painful. This is the painful passage of the whole piece. And you can have a nice accent. This is a little bit too slow. You should check each second, you know, because it says 66. Apparently, apparently it's a Chopin. Metronome, I am not sure, but anyway, it's. With you a 30 second than a 16. Mm. I know it's written like this. I would prefer. No. And maybe Chopin did it, we don't know exactly. Because he was changing. Who knows? I don't want to force you, it's just an option. Okay. However, what comes now, you always do something wrong because almost everybody is doing the same mistake. We, we know thanks to the pupils of Chopin who wrote many things about this, that when it's written right like that, the left hand, it's he played it. He did not repeat. It. No. It means like this. On the beat with. about it yesterday okay. uh, when you play in the middle section mm -hmm. loud things and the notes repeat mm -hmm. it becomes very easily hard mm -hmm. it's not for fault okay. sometimes so piano do that. Mm. Okay.
本さんどうも。Let's take the schedule. Uh, by the way, do you have any questions? In the no. Why well, she does yes? <laughs> it's Japanese <laughs> typical, huh? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Maybe you ask, you don't have any question? You ask in Japanese? No. <laughs> How did you ask? You don't have any question or do you have any question? You have a question? Ah, and they say no, but they do no. this. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. So, In the scherzo, you play very well. Be careful. If the sound of the piano is a little bit hard, try to try to play not too hard. You play this a little bit like too much samurai style. I mean, too much like an exercise. Not necessarily. We need we need this crescendo, you know. No, it's not this. Okay, not too fast. Don't, don't, don't imitate me. I am a bad example. Okay. I, I didn't play since the recording made 30, 32 years ago, but anyway. <laughs> Try to do this crescendo. Don't play too loud at the beginning, only the accent. And remember, the crescendo goes from here. Okay? 
Now tell me in this, I notice that very often this one, you make mistakes. What fingering you have here? The second one. My God, this is crazy. That's why you make the mistake. She makes one, one, two, three. I prefer for you what is written here. Look, if you do this, it's difficult. This is easy. So, three, four times without mistake. Okay? So, it's very important to always search for the best fingering. Okay? Show me another part in this fast thing where you need help. I think it was everything very good except this one. But maybe you have another question? This one was a problem, yeah? Okay, and try to not play like a bam, blah, blah, you know what I mean? It's too much, too much uh, all the time loud and... Yeah? Ah, I noticed also here, you do... It should be together. Better for you. 
something I don't recommend but if you want you can also do this Maybe the first one is okay. Maybe the first of each two bars, sometimes yes. Like a bacarol. Again, maybe the second time you can do it softer. With less crescendo, but you feel it. It's you feel it at the extremity of your finger, very sensitive. So what we have here...
sometimes completely transparent. Transparent. You know the word transparent? Maybe you can play from uh, to get the feeling after the dreamy, more dreamy here, yes? With soul, yes, it's a light, Latin word, and normally it should be on the beat. And if you want the second time, when it comes again, you can do it before. Second time. Okay, continue. First time. A lot the polyphony, and sometimes he writes it in the score. For example, he wants this accent here. So, I think the, fi the normal fingering is not enough. I would suggest. Wait, I forgot to read it. If you don't want, you don't do it. I'm just giving you uh, the possibility, okay? Or maybe... In other words, the 
only way to really have the accents mm. is to always have the thumbs mm. on the first note of the mm. So you have to, there are two or three different fingerings. One is. Let me write it, yes? Or... Ah. One, four, three, two, one. Two. So on the first C sharp, two or three. D one. D sharp three. E two. And now we get the first thumb. E sharp. And then four three two one. Two. And the next thumb is on. B. And then on the C natural, 3. C sharp, 2. D, 1. D sharp, 3. E, 2. Next thumb, again, 1 like the second bar, yes? And then again, four, and you continue. This is for the left hand. Okay? And it works. The right hand... I have to remember. Sorry, C natural. Two. C sharp. Three. D one. D sharp. Two. E not one, like usual, but three. So it's, you know, one, two, three, one, two, three. And on E sharp, one. That's the whole point. Okay? Okay? You can try in your car. Yeah? Do you have any question about the... We have five minutes. The impromptu? Maybe... This, this horrible... I know. Everybody. Everybody. Everybody here. I know. This is this. The first ones are. Uh, which, of course, this is more difficult. Yeah? This one is more difficult, yes? 
the octave, yeah? So, play with me. I'll play this. I'll play this. Now. Without playing. You know why? Because if you don't play it, you want to play it. You want to play it. Translate. And if you want to play it, if you feel the need to play it, and I stop you, I, I tell you go from here until here without playing it. We, we increase your willingness to play it. And we decrease the fear of missing it. Because if you go from here to here and I ask you don't play it, you want to play it. <laughs> so you are not afraid. If you want to play it, you are not afraid. Understand? So, let's do it again. Okay, again. Now play it. Good, again. Louder, louder. You have to do several times this. Without playing, just go. Now feel the distance. times without mistake. Does it feel the same, more difficult or easier? Easier. Thank you. It took one minute. You will. And you do the same with the other one. Okay, so. in the impromptu, it was very nice. No? Because it was very nice, you know? It's only this difficult thing. But don't worry, this is for everybody. Difficult. Try the second time of this. Put the left pedal and try to make it more delicate. The second time, yes? Soft. With less 
ペダル。